Hey, what's up everybody? This is Chip here. Today I want to uh, talk about using a bunch of my favorite plugins to uh, create a dork column. So uh, let's say we want to have, let's see if it's 12 sides on the circle and I'll make it about 100 centimeters here. Uh, then I'll go in here and I want to make these, oh, let's make this a five, let's make it uh, nine. Okay, and then I'll come here and I'm going to just draw out a uh, half circle and I'll select that and I hit my rotate tool with the control button go to the middle of that move it, move it over here and uh, times 12 no matter, whatever it's a number whatever I can get on there so uh, there we have it now I want to basically take this and use an extension called uh, cleanup uh, and I'm going to use the uh, default settings and all that did was got rid of those little lines in the middle. I could have gone in and manually deleted them, of course. So now I'm going to go in and I'm going to create uh, this column, right? So this dork column. Uh, so what I'll do is I'll just copy this up here, probably something like that height right there. And then I'll go to Kirby Loft and I use this click to valid loft my spine so i'm really using curvy loft just to build these in these intersections i'm going to go 5 10 maybe 15 so that looks good hit return so i've got those now i've got this i need to flip it and ungroup this or explode it and i think that's that's it okay we should be good so now i want to twist this whole thing so i'll go in here and uh, select it all and group it and I'll go right click and say free to scale box twisting I take this and let's move it here and I'm going to go 180 so right here and then hit here and there you have it so now let's look at this if I look at it we can use this tool over here which is solid inspector I mean, if we're still a solid that looks good uh, I want to get rid of these little curves in here, so I'm going to go in here and I'm going to just turn the hidden line on and we'll select just that one and we'll hide that and then let's go and get the other ones. Let's see. Probably just that one. Hide that. That looks good. So, Okay, so there's our basic column, right? So uh, next I kind of want to fatten it out so I'll select it and I'll right click on it and I'll go into actually let's move up a little bit you can see what I'm you can see what I'm doing FDD and I'll go to 226 so, so it's going to basically create a deformed cage around this okay, zoom in on it and I'll double click on the control points and I'm going to take these all of these control points let's see yeah, I got them all and you know I if I use the regular scale tool and I hold the alt key down and try and scale out you see how it's kind of kind of getting funky on me and it'll, it'll end up creating some weird things so I'm gonna undo that and I'm gonna use the Fritos scale tool that's a little better if I just hold tap the alt key now when I pull it out I'm gonna pull out directly from that from that center um, and uh, if there's a lot of polygons, it won't preview until after you exit the tool. But that looks pretty good. Now, that's the main one. I want to make it just a little heavier on the bottom. So I'm going to deselect these these buttons and I'm going to come back in and grab. Make sure I can get them all. There you go. Grab these. Yep, got them all. Go back to my Fritos tool and again hit the Alt key and we'll scale from right in the middle here like this and hit return. And something like that might be good. Um, actually, it's maybe a little too much. Let's, let's uh, deselect these and go in. And let's grab, let's grab these. Let's see what, what we get here. And again, Alt. Just a little bit. There. 
and then I'm going to grab just the bottom ones. And I can probably use, yeah, there we go. So you can see that's a little bit more like the Dork column should be. It's a little heavier at the bottom than it is at the top. Okay, and I can delete these now. And I can take this and scale it up higher. Get it a little, little bit larger. Okay. So far, so good. Then I want to go in here. Now I'm going to select this polygon and use an extension called Set Center Point. So I have a point in here. And uh, <clears throat> uh, then I want to take and make a 48 circle and make it really large. There we are. Something like that. Delete this. And I'm going to draw the first. Let's go something like this. Okay. And right there, and there. Nine, that looks probably pretty good. So, as you can see, this is not working. It's not going to snap to the right area I want. So, what I'll do is I'll go to the midpoint here, go over here until it says tangent to edge, go back to the uh, end point here, and do the same thing, tangent to edge. And now we've got that. So, then I can hit the E key. We'll get rid of these. Oops. I'll get rid of that one. And this next one's going to be a little bigger. So, we'll take... Uh, this and we'll just scale it uh, this way. Oops. Um, actually, I'll just grab this and move it up like this. Grab that, and move it out like that. Okay, that's using the T key, the move, key, the move key, and then I'll make this one another, another one of these uh, circles. So I'll come over here, take them, find the middle point here, come here, double click there, find the middle point there. Click there. Okay, so now we've got, see, we've got a pretty good thing here. So I'm going to hit this E. I'll actually select this ring out here, go to the uh, follow me, hold the uh, control key down, and click here, and I've got it. And I'll just hit reverse faces. I've got a shortcut key set up for that. And shift. So that's. Uh, that's pretty good. We'll, make, we'll group that. I'm gonna I'm gonna make something else of that late a little bit later. So then let's go ahead and uh, do the same. Go into this thing and uh, turn on hide. Select the middle. Give me a, a center point here. That's good. Uh, move out of this. So this is a group. Grab a square, a rectangle. I want a, a perfect square. Once I have it, I can select it. Hit the S key and drag it out pretty far and then if i want to duplicate it just go out here it'll snap it'll snap down the scale to 200 as we go come on Oops. it's not big enough let's zoom out there we go let's try again there's two okay and then delete this so that's going to be my other path and i need Something big that I can work off of there. And now I just take and I'm going to just make something that's hopefully will work. And let's see, let's take a look at this. Hit the T key. Again, if I grab it in the middle, the T is for move. I can move this up. Grab this. Go here. Grab this. Make it five. Grab that and put it right here. And delete this. Okay, so get the idea. We'll take this and select the path and then the follow me. And hit the control key and click, and we got it. And we say shift, shift uh, G, and there's that. So let's turn off my hidden lines. Let's delete all of these. 
and now you can see we're just quite a bit too large so I'm going to select these shift G group them and then I'll go into uh, again my Frito scale tap the control key move it down move it down get it so it's going to fit all right okay and then turn on hidden hidden lines again and I know I've got see a center here eh, maybe I don't so let's do it this way um, the center point there I'm gonna cut that now because the center points right there so take this and I use the mirror tool which is I forget where the icon is because uh, I actually have it to a shortcut but here I use a shortcut so I'm not on the red axis and on the green axis and now we got that now paste in place I've got that take this and I'll scale it using the uh, again I'm going to use Frito scale hit the all key, uh, tap the control key and grow it out just big enough there you go and and there's our column so that's pretty fast hope that was helpful Do a quick little and you can see it turned out turned out pretty good so hope that's helpful I, I, I enjoyed it you know there's a lot of cool cool tools that uh, I was able to demonstrate on this particular example enjoy thanks